The Indian retail sector today is very, is very interesting. It's a very nascent one with mom and pop stores really dominating the retail sector with close to 95% of sales in, uh, from that area. There are a number of big business houses, Indian business houses that are active and some of them actually have tie-ups with big international retailers like Tesco and Walmart. There are about eight of these legitimate really big national players um, and then there's a handful of regional players that are looking to become more national. There are some severe regulatory restrictions on the Indian market in terms of being able to invest in the market. Currently foreign retailers are not allowed to invest at all in multi-brand retail. They can only enter the Indian market through franchising or cash and carry. On the single brand side, so companies like a Gucci or an LVMH, they are allowed to invest 51%, but they still need an Indian joint venture partner. Organized Indian retailers today face really two issues, one on the top line and one on the cost side. On the top line, the assumption that they made was that the Indian consumer was pretty unhappy with their experience in mom and pop. And they would flock to their stores. This really hasn't happened, and most of this has, driven, has been driven by loyalty. The Indian consumer is quite loyal to their local mom and pop store, and they get a lot of free services like delivery and credits, which is really attractive to them, which the organized retailer is not matching currently. The second hypothesis that the Indian retailers had was that they would be able to drive a lot of efficiencies in supply chain and procurement. This hasn't really happened either. The Indian market is such that the FMCGs wield all the power and therefore the Indian retailers really cannot push margin. Our view is that the path to profitability for these retailers really has to come from both the top line as well as the bottom line. On the top line, they need to drive differentiation, both versus each other as well as versus the mom and pop store. And on the cost side, they really need to align their cost structure to their revenue base. Our point of view is that uh, retailers should start looking at the Indian market. It takes a while to actually get your strategy right, to get your Indian partner right, and this is the right time to actually start looking at the Indian market.